llega, le dedico mi silencio. La novela con la que Vargas Llosa se retira de las letras el novel peruano lanza su última novela, que combina ficción y ensayo, con la que marca el fin de su carrera literaria. Un could increase. Death toll caused by Bangladesh dengue outbreak rises. May break records this month, our people are working there. The crash occurred when two rear coaches of the Dhaka-bound Igorozinder Godhuli Express passenger train were hit by a cargo train heading to Chattagram. Aziz Alhaq Rajan, a senior fire official, said from the scene by phone, train accidents are common in Bangladesh, blamed mainly on unsupervised railway crossings, poor signaling and bad track conditions. Winnebago County officials will pay $3.3 million to the family of a Rockford woman killed in a police pursuit. Months before Lambert's death Sheriff Gary Caruana loosened restrictions on pursuits, saying the county was dealing with an epidemic of drivers fleeing traffic stops. Illinois child welfare worker guilty of endangerment after five YEAR old beaten to death by mom the Rockford Register Star reported the settlement agreement on Monday. A spokesperson for the Winnebago County State's Attorney's Office said the settlement doesn't include any admission of fault and declined to say if the family was offered an apology. Click here to get the Fox News APP Caruana. The sheriff has previously offered condolences to Lambert's family and blamed the fleeing driver for her death. Hurricane Tammy unleashed heavy rain in the Northeast Caribbean on Monday as it spun over open waters after making landfall in Barbuda. Tammy was expected to strengthen slightly in upcoming days and then weaken, according to the U.S. National Hurricane Center in Miami. Meanwhile, Tropical Storm Otis whirled through open waters in the Pacific on a path toward Mexico's southern coast. A tropical storm watch was in effect from Lagunas de Chacawa to Tecpan de Galeana, with up to 15 inches of rain forecast for Guerrero and western Oaxaca. Click here to get the Fox News APP Otis was expected to gradually strengthen and reach Mexico's southern coast early Wednesday. One arrest has been made and others are expected after a man was killed and three others were injured when multiple people pulled guns and shots were fired during a fight in a small city in the Texas Panhandle. Police said Sunday. Austin Mann claims he was drugged. Robbed of thousands of dollars after night downtown police said officers arriving at the scene found multiple people with gunshot wounds. Jose Alvarez. 25, of Houston, was pronounced dead at the scene. Police said. Police said Seth Pries, 25, of Borger has been arrested and charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Mother of slain Texas woman says long-haul trucker suspect asked her to say he didn't do it. Police said the investigation is ongoing and more arrests are expected. The grisly stabbing death of synagogue president and political strategist Samantha Wall was not a hate crime. Detroit police announced Monday at a press conference. We believe that there are no other groups or anyone else at risk in regard to this particular incident, Detroit Chief Police James E. White told reporters. Michigan Jewish synagogue president Samantha Wall found dead outside Detroit home she had stab wounds and there was a trail of blood on the walkway that led to her home. Neighbor of slain Detroit synagogue leader reveals second ominous incident over weekend she is an avid supporter of Israel and a prominent figure in the local Jewish community. As president of the Isaac Agree downtown Detroit synagogue, she spearheaded a massive renovation of the historic building. Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, DNY, 
called out Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Sunday for his 2019 decision to ban reps. Rashida Tlaib, D. Mish, and Ilhan Omar, D. Min, from visiting Israel, almost all of the at least 18 House Democrats who called for a ceasefire in Gaza, are people of color. Hassan also asked Ocasio-Cortez about Rep. Byron Donalds, R. Florida, who announced he would be running for Speaker of the House. Tlaib faces calls to be barred from Israel briefings after misinformation about Gaza hospital. Explosion Ocasio-Cortez also accused Israel of war crimes after condemning the attacks by Hamas. Tlaib and Omar both accused Israel of bombing a hospital in Gaza after Hamas said it was Israel's responsibility. Truth, it has been said, is the first casualty of war. And some media outlets are proving just that, Gaudi prelude Sunday night. With Danon adding that Hamas strategic warfare includes knowing how to play with the media. Danon insisted, however, that while Hamas will continue to lie in its messaging, Israel will continue to fight on the battlefield. String of Hamas. Islamic Jihad rocket misfires have resulted in the deaths of multiple civilians in Gaza. IDF, our enemies lie all the time. Last week, the Hamas-backed Gaza Health Ministry blamed an explosion that occurred at the Al-Ali Baptist Hospital in Gaza City on the Israeli Defense Forces. The Israel Defense Force determined the blast was caused by a rocket misfire launched by Islamic Jihad, another terrorist organization active in Gaza. Taylor Swift's new romance with Travis Kelsey has inspired Drew Barrymore to start dating again. Taylor Swift parties with Jackson Mahomes as fans plead for her safety. Get her out of that box Barrymore noted that while Swift is everything but normal, the date night seemed simple. I'm going to go out on a date with a male. Something about Taylor Swift dating like a normal person and not being a dark horse about it. I was like, I overthink everything. I should just go on a date, Barrymore added. Five-time Olympic medalist Mary Lou Redden is back at home after her family revealed earlier this month that the gymnastics icon was fighting for her life after suffering from a rare form of pneumonia. McKenna Kelly, one of Redden's daughters, shared the update on social media Monday, adding that Redden is now in recovery mode. Mary Lou Redden's daughter says Olympic-winning mother faced recent, scary setback, in pneumonia. Fight we are overwhelmed with the love and support from everyone. And then yesterday, we had a pretty scary setback. My amazing mom, Mary Lou, has a very rare form of pneumonia and is fighting for her life. Washington, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser flipped the script on George Floyd-era police reforms Monday by introducing new legislation to address skyrocketing crime in the nation's capital. Some of the changes that were made just don't match the daily practice of safe and effective policing, Bowser said. Bowser said the new legislation proposal aims to address current crime trends, saying some of the changes are just plain common sense. The ACT Act aims to combat organized retail theft, address loitering around open-air drug markets and make it unlawful to use masks for committing criminal acts. Protesters soon added the message, defund the police, to the street mural. As was seen in aerial images taken above the nation's capital at the time,